Alrighty guys, so how's she going today? So, it's a little colder out than it was earlier today and I got done making a video earlier. That'll be up in a couple of days. I'm trying to I'm trying to edit a video for tomorrow, but it's, I don't know, my internet went to hell all of a sudden. Now it's really super slow. So, when I tried to, I'm trying to up, up, upload the second part of that video and they claim that I, since the internet's so damn bloody slow, it's going to take uh, 9,000 minutes to upload. <laughs> well, I'm not waiting that long, so I restarted it, redid it, and then uh, we'll see what it says when I get back. So, I got my Northern Tool order today at the point of this today's video. Um, so, but uh, there's a little problem. Yeah, I didn't expect this thing to be this humongous huge. I thought, you know, I forgot my tape measure too. I wasn't going to measure it myself, but I guess it'll be all right. So, got a couple of things. And uh, just to let you guys know, I probably won't be ordering this one again. But I'll be definitely downsizing, that's for sure. So... But uh, yeah, so they're talking uh, colder weather, well, about 20s or so or something for the next few days. So that's going to be fun. Um, my one nurse or whatever is supposed to call me today. Uh, I'm supposed to get a brain scan or an MRI or whatever the hell they call the damn thing nowadays. She was supposed to call me today and tell me what I'm supposed to do. Or tell me, you know, you know, like what time I'm supposed to be there and stuff. And she, apparently, she called, she, well, I had to call her. I called her around 5, just a little while ago. And I called her and I was like, well, what's going on? She's like, well, didn't you get my phone call? I called you earlier today. Like, I called you, I don't know when I called you, but I called you. I like, no, I've, I've been in pretty much all day. My mom's been in all day. And I've been going in and out all day, of course, you know, making videos and stuff, so. But usually if I'm not in, then my mom will take care of it for me, and she's, I, I, I never got a phone call. So what I'm thinking is, since it's been kind of windy today, I'm thinking maybe on her end, the phone was ringing, but on my end, it wasn't. So I'm thinking maybe it got disconnected somewhere along the ways, I don't know. So she called, or I called her up and stuff. She's like, well, see now this brain scan Dewey thingy, um, this one comes in by the truck. You know, they haul it on a tractor trailer. Well, it's in a trailer, you know, kind of Dewey. And this is like a portable one. That one comes down here. And she said, well, that one's going to be late. It's going to be coming in late in tomorrow. I don't know why. I suppose maybe the truck broke down or something. I don't know. It's supposed to come tomorrow, or Friday. No, it's supposed to come Friday. And it's supposed to, uh, other people are getting their stupid brain scanned up too, right? And and she said, well, the truck is going to be in late, so other people are going to get in late too, of course. So apparently, um, she said right now that she has me scheduled for a time, which I'm going to tell you here in a minute. But she said that if someone should cancel their their time then I can take their place but my schedule isn't till eight o'clock at night <laughs> so that's just dandy Jesus but you know it's better than early in the morning I hate I mean that one morning I had to get up at like, like I don't know for like seven or something in the morning for something else I didn't want to get up that bloody early, and this truck is going slow, and there's like hands hanging out the window. Freaking nabs. But, um, so yeah, that's going to be fun. It's going to be late at night. Well, she said that if someone should cancel their appointment, then I can take theirs. So, whatever. It's not going to be much stuff opened. Tomorrow. Well, I mean, yeah, there'll be stuff open, well, very little. Uh, and my grandma also has to go there on Friday 
to order to or to get the parts for the John Deere blower. So she was hoping that her that my appointment would be around the same time. Well, it would be in the morning sometime. Because that's when she has to go to go get her John Deere parts. So, but unfortunately, it's not going to work. So she says, "Well, great. Now I'm going to have to make double the trips, or make two trips. You know." So my grandma's going to take us this time because my sister's going to be at home in bed because she's got to work early in the morning. So, grandma, my grandma said she would take us and stuff. So, but yeah. So I got that principle figured out now. But I think the last time I was there, I had that done to my brain. They, for some reason, their thing kind of freaked out. So I had, to, I had to have it done in the cities. So I told them, I was like, well, I don't know why I just didn't have it done in the cities anyway. But see, if I change plans, if I change this now, it's going to mess everything else up. So I really got to just, I just got to keep it this way pretty much. So. So, yeah. It looks like I gotta push this nail back in. For sakes. But, um, yeah. And I also got, um, the, uh, not flea medicine, what the hell I thinking. And the worm medicine. Yesterday, I got it, I think it was. No, it was, no. Yeah, well, it was today. We got it earlier today, and they were supposed to send a little, uh, sucky dooey thingy to, uh, measure. It sucks the the liquid crap into a little tubey thing, and it's supposed to you're supposed to measure it that way. They didn't send one out, so I called up the vet, and I think they said they were going to send one out, so you know, so we can have one. But I didn't have any, so my grandma and my uncle are going to come over later, and they're going to help do the cats because I I don't want to deal with it. Really, I mean, it's such a freaking mess. And my grandma and my uncle know know how to do it more than me because they got cats and they've been doing it a long time, longer than me. So, so they'll be coming over probably after dinner, after the news or whatever, and come and do that for us, help us out and stuff. So, but uh, yeah, so I got my Northern Tool order here, like I told you earlier, and I didn't realize this guy was going to be that big. I really didn't want it that big. I thought it would be. I think this guy was a. I mean, if you think about it, this guy's a four inch, and this guy's supposed to be a six inch. Well, Jesus Christ, that's so big that you could crush somebody's head with it, like just by squeezing the handle, you know, turning the handle. Let's see, this is the old one, or the, the one that I bought at the hardware. This guy, that's got to be a four inch. I thought it said a four inch on it. Yeah. You know? It looks like it says a four, but uh, here's my new one. This is my six inch. This is made by uh, by I R N or whatever. I don't know how to freaking pronounce their name there. I R W I N. So so yeah, he still got the sticker and stuff on it, but they I just. I got something else I gotta show you too, but I wanna get that in the film right now. But so I mean that's a six inch, I guess. I, mean, I didn't really want it that big. That's overkill. So whatever the size they got under a six is what I'm gonna have to get. Like if they had maybe a, uh, well they got a four inch, I know, but if they had maybe like a five inch, it would be a little better. I don't know. Maybe I'll. I mean I. I mean I'll, I'll be okay with a six inch, but I mean it's just. You know, that just seems kind of, kind of big. So, but we'll keep it anyway. We'll use it. We'll use it for when we build that, uh, uh whenever I guess I feel like building, right? I think I'm actually going to put that thing in the use right now. I think I'm going to try to push this nail. It looks like the nail had come out some. So, maybe we'll just, uh, yeah. Maybe we'll do that quick before I show you the other, the, uh, other things that I got. But a six inch, it's fine. I'm gonna keep it anyways. I paid for it, so we'll put it to use when we can. Forgot to take the sticker off. Well, somewhat off now, but so. But uh, when I got this thing, she had a little bit of a little bit of damage done to her. Um, 
I'm not going to worry about it because it ain't going to matter. Uh, let's see if I can show you. See the paint's a little scraped there. Uh, the light's probably kind of hard to see it, but there it is. Right here. Looks like a little bit of paint got chipped. So, yeah, it's paint chipped off. So, if that means it'll, it'll start rusting. So, I'll have to get some touch up paint for it. And sometime. Time, the time I probably get around to it, it'll probably be rotted. So. But, it ain't gonna matter. I gotta try to work on this uh, workbench come spring. Get some screws put in this table. So we'll put it to use. Now. There. They could just sit there for now. And uh, stay out of the way. Because I'm not going to need it. So. But. Uh. I'll show you my uh, other things I got. These are the small stuff. So, but you guys know what I was getting anyway. So, this will probably be kind of a short video just because I don't know how much juice is in this camera either. But I also got my contact tips for the welder. I got three packages. There's five in each, so that's 15 tips. Um, of course I can get more of these anytime really, so, because they're cheap. So that's the ones, and it will, it will fit to my welder, and to the, to the, to the welder, and to the uh, wire that I need. I don't think it's, I know that that siren that's ringing out there, that's off by an hour, but maybe they set it, because it can't be 7 o'clock now. It's got to be 6 o'clock, so maybe they finally fixed it. It was off for a couple of days because of that uh, daylight saving time bullshit. So, but yeah, I'm just going to throw these in with the welder. I'll just throw them in the lid. I'm not going to need them for anything, so. But I got three packages of those and stuff. So, it tells you what kind of welders and their website and their phone number and stuff. And stuff, so let's... I guess that's where the main company's at, right here in Minnesota. So that's kind of cool. I gotta see where Burnsville is. I think I tried to look one time, but it wasn't working for me. But I think I got it now. So yeah, so that's all I got. Three bit or three packages of some tips, contact tips for the welder, and then that blue uh, C clamp, Dewey. I'm gonna have to try to. And I do have. You know, vice grips too, but sometimes the C clamps are better. But, you know, it's always good to have a little bit of extra stuff on hand. I'll probably have to get. I don't know if I want to go for another 6 inch. I really don't know if I need them that big. I definitely know I could use some more 4 inches and stuff. So, that will be okay for now because I'm not going to use them, so it ain't going to matter. So, so, that's all I got for this month. Um, so, I think if I, uh, like I said, I think if my credit card thing works again, I'd be able to get a little extra stuff, not by much, so, probably just end up probably buying more contact tips for the welder, really, since they're cheap, so, I know that the things that are really cheap on Northern Tool is the contact tips for the welder, and, uh, those uh, grinding discs for the for the angle grinder, but I don't really need any more. Uh, I don't need any more grinding wheels. I think I got enough to last me a couple of years now. And I'm keeping them in the house because they'll stay dry and warm there. I'm I'm, I'm afraid if I put them back here, then you know, the cold will crack them. So, so I think they're safe in the house. So. But I noticed that uh, if you guys watched my other video when I get it uploaded there. About that power company truck thing that you guys were seeing around town throughout the video, and since I think about it, I think it was for my high-speed internet company slash phone company slash cable company. 
Um, they were talking about taking their old lines down because they had putting in the fiber optic cables, which are underground, but their old wiring was overhead. Well, they were actually taking some down, so that's why that Dodge was parked here, you know, and it took off and went into those trees because that's, they were doing it there. Well, they did it here to this guy's yard from that. Do you see his camper? It was a pole to the right. Not the one here, but right, right next to it. And uh, there goes that yonder tractor. They got a different snowblower this year. What the hell? Maybe the other one was overkill for it. But the, not this pole right here, but there's another pole by the RV right next to it. They were working at that one. And that one right there in the middle and this one here. So they are taking the, the the old cabling down, which is the old uh, phone slash cable, or, you know, that cable, you know, crap like that. TV shit, you know. That was their old line. And, uh, they, surprisingly, they didn't do my yard, but I guess my yard's buried in snow, so they can't do, I mean, you know, still, I, I don't know why they were doing it now, because, because still, there's still tons of snow everywhere, so, I just don't, I don't know why they don't wait the spring. I think that John Deere truck is going to North Dakota, I can hear it going across the bridge there. So that's freaking awesome. You know, so. But yeah, so I mean, I don't know why they even bothered. I don't know what else they're, they got done besides these two places. But I'm sure they got other places too, but. I don't know. I wouldn't want to work in this fucking cold. So. So yeah. But you know, you, you know how that goes. They want to get shit done. So. But yeah, but anyways, guys, I figured I just I just wanted to show you guys this stuff here. I didn't, it's not nothing special, I guess, but um, just a six inch C or the yeah the C clamp, the C clamp, the six inch, and then three packages of contact tips for the welder. I would like to get a get a roll of welding wire too, but for damn near ninety bucks, you know that, that's definitely kind of a hell of a damn investment to make. But you need it. You're not gonna be able to weld, but I can't weld anyway because I don't have power. So. Actually, I don't know. Maybe I could weld. I think I could weld up at the if, up in the house because the welder. I think the lowest amp you can go. The lowest amp you can go on that welder is twenty. And then the highest. The highest they want you to go is eighty, but I think if you wanted to, just completely max the damn thing out, it's one hundred and twenty-five. That's if you just wanted to, you know, redline it, right? So, but, I don't know. Savage Noir, I hope you watch, if you watch this video, let me, let me know what you think of that. Because I think that's the way it is. Because that's the way it goes in the book. I don't know, I'm so freaking confused because everything's different. Every, every Wherever you go, it's always something different. So, but I think the lowest you can go is 20. And, you know, their safe limit, that's probably how, you know, how far they want it to go, is 80. But then if you wanted to redline it, you know, max the thing right out, you could do 125 amps, I'm guessing, from what the book says. So, I don't know. I don't think I would want to max her out. I think 80 amps would be enough. Probably would even be a little bit overkill for it, too, because I'm not really going to weld major stuff right now. But then you might as well have it done anyway and just get it so you can have 80 amps. So, you got that kind of power. If you get too much power, you know, you just turn the welder down. It just takes less amperage then. I think that's how it works. As you turn the heat and the speed up, it takes more amps than the run. But and then less, you know, lower than less. So, I don't know. So, there's more people watch this video. You should just kind of explain it to me because you know way more about this, this welding crap than I do. I think you've already had tried to explain it to me, but... It's just that amperage thing I'm so freaking confused on because I don't know really what it is. But apparently it's the safe limit is 20 to 80. But if you wanted to completely max it right out, it's 125. So Because it says peak, well doesn't that mean max? I'm guessing. I don't fucking know. Savage so more you know. Or anyone else that watches my video, let me know if you you know, if you've done some welding and you got that same size welder. It's 115 volt, but you know, that's the amperage thing you gotta worry about, so. 
Because I'm sure my house has got to be pushing, you know, 20 amps. You would think at least that. Because my power cord is 15 amps. And I got this plugged into, into the garage. Right where Big Red sits. So that outlet has got to be at least 20. Maybe a little higher now. Maybe it's 25. I don't know. But then again, maybe it's 15. Maybe I'm just and I'm right at the limit. But, you know, when I have all three lights plugged in, you know, it doesn't do anything. Of course, I've never had all three lights plugged in. And then, like, say, like the angle grinder running, too. Having that angle grinder takes a lot of, a lot of power. So, I don't know, but... I don't know. <laughs> so, but, I don't know. Hopefully we can just get some power put in her, in her, and that way the welder can just be on its own circuit, you know, not overloading anything else. So, but we'll see. You know, it's just the way she goes, I guess. So, but I, th I guess I'll leave the seat clamp here, because she's pushing my nail in, even though it's not going to really hurt. i got to put some screws in here, i got to get some, but for now the seat clamps can hold her. <clears throat> Take the contact tips back up for the house, stick them in the welder, they'll be fine. Try to maybe get some welding wire. I don't know. I want to be ready so then when, you know, he comes, he can just put power in and I can just go right out and start welding, right? So, <clears throat> hopefully my welder won't rot away on me because who knows how soon this will happen. You know, I mean, it might even be another two years before I get power in here. I don't know. You know, it's just, it just depends on how things, I guess, go. But, you know, it's the way she goes, I guess. I mean, not much you can do about her. So... My blue thing's still holding up fine. You can see that in the other video too. But so whatever. But anyway, guys, I think I'll probably take off for today then, because I, I ain't got nothing else to talk about. So let's do a nice short video for you guys. So, because it's, it's getting cold out, the temperatures going to be going down now for the night, and she's already she's it's already 15. It was like 20 something earlier, but now it went down quite a bit. So time to leave. Time to go in. See how my video's doing. If it ain't working, or if it ain't uploading right, then I'm just gonna call it quits for today and try tomorrow. It's gonna suck because that's gonna throw everything off. I wanted to start editing tomorrow morning and then have it done by afternoon so then you guys could watch it that same day. But nah, no, nah, it's gonna fuck everything up. And I probably won't remember when I made it. Because <laughs> this video, I think I made, I made yesterday. So who knows, right? Who knows? Editing, I might forget when I made it. <laughs> I always kind of do, so whatever. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter anyway. So, but yeah, anyway, guys, I guess I'm gonna take off for today. I don't have much else to talk about. I've already kind of talked about everything in a video that'll be up before this one, of course. So, so yeah, that's all I got, guys. C clamp, six inch, and .035 contact tips for the welder. All northern tool kind too, right? So, freaking right. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to take off. So, I guess have a good day and stuff and stuff. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, too. See you guys later.